Disgusting! <sighs> Period. Woke up at 11 o'clock. I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? Hey, you it's Kitty you, and today I'm going to be vlogging my day. Why does my voice sound so deep? I literally just woke up, put makeup on. I haven't even eaten. I haven't even eaten. I haven't even ate. I haven't even eaten. I haven't even eaten. Yeah. So I have to eat breakfast. hot sauce on this shirt yesterday and I just well I barely got the stain off and now I smelled smoothie on it and I've adopted this shirt for a total of two days I'm a horrible mother oh. yeah. Hallelujah. you've resurrected from the dead my camera's now at 72 per se which is better than zero and then I have to reshoot some of the try on clips for my Yes Style haul because I shot it yesterday and some of the clothes just like did not come out right. <laughs> so I have to like reshoot some of the stuff today while the sun's still up and high in the sky. Now that that is out of the way, I'm gonna now switch gears and do something a little less video oriented, like ignore the fact that I'm talking to a camera right now, but you get the point. What's the next thing on my to-do list? It's drafting up talking points for this panel I'm going to be on. It's happening on December 5th, so like literally not too far off from when you're watching this video. It's gonna be a really candid conversation surrounding and discussing the social issues affecting Asian Americans in this day and age. I'm just blown away by like the amazing people that are behind this. It's being hosted by the anti-bully nonprofit Act to Change in partnership with McDonald's. And it's also being hosted by Hudson Yang, who like I definitely know, he plays Eddie Huang in the show Fresh off the boat and like that's freaking dope. Putting the panel aside for a second, like I did want to sit down with you guys and decompress and have a candid discussion with y'all, especially after the past tumultuous election season. The past election season has really forced me to ruminate and reckon with where exactly do I see myself fitting into this greater fabric and society of America. I want to specifically talk about like the positionality of Asian Americans because you know, that's the only thing that I know about. We have a very interesting perspective because because as a minority, we can relate to literally every single type of hate, at least like based on ethnicity slash race. Y'all know my obsession with Yappy, like they do a really good bit about how we have been thrown in determined camps, we have been deported, we have been accused of gentrifying low-income neighborhoods, we have been demonized as like enemies during world wars, and we've also been like made fun of for our physical features. We can relate to every single type of hate yet. I find it so perplexing how we as a demographic and a voting bloc are still very, very silent and very invisible. For example, like low voter turnout, Asian Americans have historically super, super low voter turnouts. We are also very, very not represented properly in Hollywood and things like that. Like we're very much, I feel like flies on the wall <laughs> if America was a house. That's not okay. I feel like Asian Americans, we should be more empathetic and more vocal about both issues surrounding ourselves as well as lifting fellow minority brothers and sisters up, those who especially don't have a voice via voter suppression or things like that. And so I really, really want to take this time to like encourage everybody who's watching, whether or not you're Asian American, to just really use your identity and your history and what your ancestors or loved ones have gone through to use whatever privileges you have to like uplift and advocate for both yourself more as well as for other brothers and sisters that like don't have those privileges yet. And I really wanna do that at this panel that's coming up this week, December 5th at 2 p.m. PST. If y'all want to register and see me talk at this panel, ah, nervous, um, y'all can register in the link in the description or in the link in my Instagram bio. I have it linked there as well. And I'm also gonna be co-live streaming it on my channel on the actual date that it's happening. And so you can also pop in that way. I think that this panel is a really good opportunity to unite and talk about the issues that all of us are grappling with. When we talk with each other, we as a group are more united and therefore our voice is stronger to advocate for others as well. I really hope to see you all there. I'm very, very nervous, wish me luck. But yeah, I just wanted to pop in and have this quick heart to heart with you guys because I just feel like these issues need to be talked about, you know? I got it. 
start copy oh, URL. Wow. Copy URL. Okay, I'll send it to you. Also, I am vlogging, so. You're vlogging. <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting. Don't do that. See, she's simping. <laughs> Why did he do this? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Mic drop. So unrealistic. <gasps> Oh, he looks like a penguin. The guy in the green sweater is also cute, but like a mean looking cute. Like he looks like he could bully me. No, please don't do it. Shut the fuck up. They always do this. Ha ha ha, comedy. Okay, so I just finished watching Startup episode 11, but holy sh**, that was so fun. And that was my first time using Netflix Party to like watch with a friend. And I'm thinking, what if I hosted Netflix Party with you guys and like we watched Startup together or something? Because I know that a lot of y'all who follow me on Instagram watch Startup. I feel like that'd be freaking talented, brilliant, incredible, really fun. That was an hour of my time that I did not commit to doing anything on my to-do list, but you know, so is life. Um, good morning. It is not the same day. It's actually like a week later. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I figured I'd film today because y'all just got me to 100k subscribers. And I oop, and I oop. Y'all said, and I oop, and I oop. I cannot thank you guys enough for everything that y'all have helped me accomplish. I am so eternally grateful. When you guys show love to like the things that we say and the things that we show you guys, it's literally one of the best feelings in the entire world. And I just, I'm so eternally grateful. Y'all have allowed me to do this for you guys. With that being said, today my mom and I are gonna bake a celebratory cake because if you don't know, my mom owns a bakery. She just started, it's called Sunny's Bakery. Make sure to follow it. Let's go. Hola, como estan, mami? Hola! <laughs> I tried multiple times to fix this. Why going this way when I wanted to go in like that? And she keep going like, who? Like, no, go do. What the fuck? What's going on? Oh my goodness. Oh. She is like, Caillou. Oh, yes, daddy. Did you know that vanilla flavor, one of my followers on Instagram told me this, did you know that vanilla flavor comes from the butthole of beavers? No! <laughs> Ready? Let's ask! I'm going to abandon why this final skin would be not from the butthole of beaver, whatever he has. Educate yourself! Do you want to eat something from beaver's butthole? <laughs> Ready? Ready. Yeah. I'm gonna do like a dramatic. I'm gonna have to set to that no free foot pictures here. You have to pay us money. Alexa, raise the volume by three. What if it catches on fire? And yes. Thank you all so much for your for your love. We're really grateful. Thank you. Kumasunita. <laughs> Yes. I feel like I'm dead. I'm alive, but I'm dead. It's focusing on your hand and not the cake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, it's good. It's like souffle encrusted in like crispiness. Very, yes. Yeah, <gasps> 
before I go and log off officially, I wanted to touch base with you guys. I just want to say again, I'm so, so grateful. Time is invaluable. And the fact that you give some of your precious minutes to me, it means the world. I really want to hit home and emphasize. I really care about what you guys have to say. Your opinion always matters to me. And how cute is it that I'm talking about my 50K subscribers in my 100K subscribers video? In that video, I made a promise to y'all that I was going to donate a portion of my AdSense revenue to nonprofit organizations that you and I would decide in joint discussion. And I finally got my first paycheck in the mail. And after a lot of thinking and reading you guys' comments and input, I decided to split it into two organizations. And so the first is gonna go to the Philippines in their hurricane slash typhoon relief because they were recently hit very, very hard by a typhoon called Ulysses or otherwise known as Vamco. They need all the help they can get. I know a lot of my viewers are Filipino and a lot of you guys have been DMing me and I hear y'all. So I really wanna pitch in and help y'all out in any way I can. And then the second portion is gonna go to Girls Who Code because the top liked comment on my Q&A was talking about educational nonprofits. Um, a lot of you guys also urge to be careful about where I put my money in terms of nonprofits because a lot of them pocket the profits, but I finally decided after a lot of research to go with Girls Who Code because I personally believe that tech and computer science and digital media like that is the future and the fact that the gender pay gap and just the gender gap in general is getting worse in this field that is gonna be the future in 19 they said it was almost 40% women and now it's 24. That decline is what Girls Who Code aims to stop by providing education and creating enthusiasm about tech in women and young girls. Those are the two organizations that I'm gonna donate to and here are the receipts for accountability. Thank you guys so much for all of your input. I wanna continue doing this in the future and of course I wanna scale my donations as my subscriber base grows. That is the update there. This vlog overall was like so so all over the place. There was a lot of serious stuff, but a lot of fun and dumb stuff. I'm gonna go watch Home Alone 2 with my family now. And if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love y'all so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.